What's good, everyone? This your girl, Miss Placed here, and I'm back finally getting around to talking about Dream Hack Dallas and my experience. I'm gonna talk about the good, the bad, but it's not that bad, and concerns I have when it comes to Dream Hack Dallas. But let's talk about the good, because I got a lot of good to, you know, the deets of the good from the experience. Now, I went to Dream Hack Dallas last year, and it was at the same convention center, and last year we didn't have all that space. This time, you could practically say we had the whole building, <laughs> in a sense. So, that was amazing. Amazing, great job on them like I was not expecting that so you had to have your walking shoes on because it was a lot of walking so yeah I'm not a walker that much but I enjoyed how spaced out it was it was so much to do but there's always so much to do a dream hack and so little time That's now I before I finish on all the goods in the background you'll see me playing this is one of my old videos of me playing some apex oh, with hey, hey. voice and I can't even see it <laughs> symbolic and just I'm, I'm gonna spoil it for you we did win this but I'm um, surprisingly normally I'm playing conduit and this time I'm actually playing Watson so watch the video and see how we win this and yes um, yeah, well, I'm, that's about all the swell I'm gonna do. Now, back to the goods of my dream hack experience. I also like the good thing that I always get to see 1000 Dreams Fun, seeing Kayla, seeing this one was even amazing being deserved in the last one. I know that, yeah, them words probably didn't all match that. And the fact of that I saw new Dream Team members that came out to help at the booth they were amazing and every time I go and go and help and chill around a thousand dreams fun booth it's always like it's common as being around there like it's like the safe place and we you know you know so always seeing them and helping out for a thousand dreams fun is my main thing like the work it's the work for me the last um three to four events even since started the first event when i first volunteered so i always enjoy going to do that the most now i also enjoy seeing megabyte megan i did get to see her we did take a picture i'm pretty sure she got it somewhere posted i did get to see dds 618 i saw him last year we always speak for a little bit and his wife i did get to see them we did chop it up for a bit same as me and megan did get to talk for a bit and i did get to see brother darkness that was a good bit uh we did talk a little bit we didn't get to talk more hopefully next time we run into each other and, and so we get to chat it up more i was <laughs> i was trying to get something on my phone and i was struggling with it so even though i was listening i wasn't as attentive as i know i am but it was good running into him and glad he enjoyed the event glad i ran into superstar and because we i did like i tell people if you're coming to this event let me know so we can at least meet up chat for a bit or at least see each other because I, like i said i don't bite i really don't some people say hey we're gonna meet up and we don't i'm that person ain't let me know i might be slow to respond but i will keep responding <laughs> superstar know that until we actually meet up and actually like chopping at least see each other if it ain't nothing but for a few minutes a lot of people forget you're going to the event to enjoy the experience but if you're also going to see people don't say it and not do speak your action speaks louder than words and that's what i'm gonna say about that your actions speak louder than words to anybody small to big so see your people when you get a chance see the new people if you're going to squash some misunderstanding go do that be the adult and also still enjoy the experience and then i ran into texas 78 and his wife i always watched his videos and it was nice actually meeting him in person real down to earth guy and very cool and his videos are always funny so if you haven't checked them out just definitely check them out and then also i ran to i got a chance to stop at the regiment booth and chat it up there and 
see some few people. I didn't stay real long. I was hoping to get around there more than once, but so much to do at that event, so I didn't. But I also, I always stopped by there, you know, saw Chris and also fellow regiments. So it's always good to see them and stuff. I went all dressed up my regiment. I wanted to wear stuff that kind of represented me because I'm always wearing stuff that represent everybody else but myself. And that sometimes makes me like a little odd. So I go and I enjoy the thing. And then the most awesome thing too that I enjoyed, I got to represent 1000 Dreams Fun and the Dreamathon on stage. And we played What's in the Box. Thank you, crowd, for helping me out on that, that one thing I could not figure out. So, good thing. All I'm going to say is Dungeons and If you know the ending of that, you know the ending of that. And if you go find it on BB Just um, prior streams, if she um, clipped it or anything, it, it might be showing on the Thousand Dreams Fun site as well. I don't fully sure, but I know there, there are a few pictures going around in regards to that. So thank you, 1000 Dreams Fun. And it was awesome representing 1000 Dreams Fun in that what's in the box one, which was pretty funny. Um, I do like that it was this time nonprofits were intertwined in the event, meaning that, for example, 1000 Dreams Fun booth, we was that second booth but kind of the first booth to a mystery when you're playing the when you if you did the quest if you did the quest thousand dream fun booth was that booth that you stopped by so i do like that dream hack incorporated the nine profits more and more and that's that's literally all we're asking for if you're doing something for nine profits have it more knowledgeable in your events and this year they outdone their stuff on that they really did so and there were some hiccups but it wasn't none that like was an end all be all however it was nice that they incorporated us because it feels like in a sense all the critiques all the responses they didn't go unheard and so if y'all are filling out the questionnaires um after the fact especially if you are a creator because i know there's always a questionnaire after that and such forth um definitely put in your critiques and not like in a rude way but with a respectful way whether they get ready or not i think some of them do some of them i don't know but it all helps to make it even bigger and better for the next year so overall the goods outweigh the bads on this and also another good is i got to go to a panel and watch it and then i got to go to a meet and greet and the meet and greet was amazing because it was the most like chatting when i mean chatting and like the one place I literally had people that said, I don't mind hearing you talk. They really enjoyed um, hearing what I had to say. And sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I feel like people don't really wanna like hear what I have to say or even really listen, listen. Or if I tell a story, I feel like it's not as funny or entertaining as the person that normally will say stories or anything like that. So to go in a group of people and to feel like heard and people listen is always amazing. So when you find them people, enjoy it and embrace it. Now, the bad when it comes to Dream Hack Dallas. Like I said, they ain't, they ain't really bad, bad, but just some things, you know, walking. Man, there was a lot of walking. <laughs> I wish there was like an intermittent like break place in the event, especially from one end to another. I know they have the chill zone that was outside of the event if you want to get away from the noise. And there was actually a little comfortable place upstairs, but that was more used for panels. But if there was like one in between that, especially if you're gonna hold the whole event, uh, like so people wouldn't have to hold up like if there's places because there were places to eat and eat inside but if you're like me you don't really want to hold hold it all to yourself because somebody probably wants to sit down and eat but they did have some eat to go things too i had the frito pot stuff to go so that was nice but yeah i mean if you stopped and watched like events and stuff you had a place to sit and get off your feet but i would recommend 
for you all, your people. Make sure you wear the most comfortable shoes because you will be doing walking, okay? I'm saying that now. Now, the panel times. I didn't get to go to all the panels. The only panel I really went to was the one that a Thousand Dreams Fun um, had about that one. And then also the meet and greet, which is not really panel, but it's a meet. Well, not a meet and greet, but a uh, meeting with esports to network, other esports uh, personnel to network and stuff. Now, this, this is my bad. A lot of people... Yes, they had the screens that show times of stuff, but um, we have these big screens, and it would have been nice to use them big screens to post the panel times um, under the, like, be right back, just at least for each day. I know, yes, it's a little hassle trying to... Um, keep up which day and make sure it's posted right for the be right back screens but having that would have been nice on them big screens so if people were like okay oh there's a panel let me go see that they probably would have been more interested in seeing these panels and figuring out where they were yes you had the small tv ones which was nice but uh, a lot of us uh <laughs> Let's say big screens catch our attention more than little screens. The, the small screens were nice. Like I said, I had no issue with the small screens. But having this show on the big screens right in the BR, BRB would have helped people immensely, especially on the day if panels are happening that day. Um, also, uh, saying if you want to donate in the be right back screen, that or having like the scan things to scan for donations throughout the event and certain areas. Yes, it's a little extra work, but having them things just here and there where people will kind of see them and stuff do help bring in that funding for nonprofits. Yes, I know DreamHack got to make profits. I know that. I know that. But having that and also acknowledging, okay, people, that was Alice Ari, the Artist Alley. Well, I'm going to leave that in there. Artist Alley to, you know, buy artist goods. I didn't get to really look through there because I was a little bit busier than usual. But it's always nice seeing artists in their craft. Like, if I had a skill that I could, you know, turn it to a profit, which I know I can't do, I just gotta stop being lazy, then I would do it. But you know, hey, it is what it is, it happens, it happens. Um, also, the premium badge, uh, initially I had that, and mine's, uh, my premium didn't really, f I didn't really feel that special, cause premium was, and if you went to the other events, premium was like, I don't know. I, premium probably always been premium, but this this year the bas badges were more distinctive, which was pretty cool. But like having a premium badge this year, it really didn't feel as I don't know. Like I didn't feel special. The only good thing is you got the the I got the badge. <laughs> Let me put it like this: I got the premium because I wanted the the uh hoodie like i literally got the premium because i wanted the hoodie or that might have came out the i am part of it i don't know but and it gave a 75 dollar voucher that you could use at the shop which i will recommend if you get that voucher use it on day one don't do like me and wait until sunday but use it on day one and you can only use it for that locations the uh, stuff. So read the fine print on the voucher. So the voucher, uh, in my opinion, I, it's okay, but I wish it was kind of used on all I, um, I, well, all items that were sold, but it's not. So keep that in mind and read the fine print on that. So that, and then the uh, security was like tight. I mean. T it was tight. Don't get me wrong. They were nice, awesome people. I appreciate having security at events because they taking the time out their whole weekend, pretty much, 
like their whole weekend to make sure the right people are getting in and out of places. This year, it was a little more stricter. I mean, I get it, I get it, I get it. But also, like, if a person has an expo badge, uh, last year, as long as the escort person was um, escorting them around, was fine. This year, it was like a, oh no, they would have to go all the way around, which is kind of like a little annoying if the person is literally escorting them to the spot that they need to be at. That's the only thing. I wish there was better understanding on that. But I, I'm not hating on. The, I'm not hating on it. I'm glad they were doing their job and everything. They really were. So, yeah. So it, it, it's a uh, not too bad, but it is. It is. Yeah. Now, like I said, they want really bad things for me. Um, like I tell people, DreamHack is all of what you make it. It's not like regular MLG events. If you was like me, went to the old MLG events, it's not like that. You definitely have something to do and all that. Now, my concern, my biggest concern is the change in the requirements for a creator thing, that, like the creator choices. I already expressed my um, not liking the change because, in my opinion, that didn't need to be um, put out. Uh, so, for anybody going to Georgia, I don't like going to, well, not Georgia, but Atlanta's dream hack. I don't want to discourage you. I will still say sign up because anything's possible. But for me, I don't, like I said, I don't think I will be signing up for future ones, sadly, because I know my times, my hours, my streams don't always hit that minimum requirement of 20 views. Like, I know that personally. So it's a little discerning how the creator thing is changing because I feel like that didn't have to change because you could always have half of this many, half of big streamers, half of up and coming streamers. That requirement didn't need to be even done because this is what up and coming streamers, small streamers like me went for it because we wanted to like make a name, get an experience and stuff. And I appreciate the prior creator times I got a chance to experience it and do it. I just don't like the changes. That's just me. Um, I still recommend signing up because anything's possible, but sadly for me, I won't be signing up for it because I know I don't hit that mark. I know my schedule does not max out them 20 views just at minimum on the regular. If you get them 20 views on anything, TikTok, all that, on the regular TikTok streaming and all that, you're good. You don't have nothing to worry about. It's just whoever they pick. And you have a spazzy thing that makes you unique. So sign up for it. anything's possible i just don't like that change it was not needed in my opinion you didn't have to change it like that i don't know what goes behind that i don't but it it was just the only thing that was a little upsetting to me because dream hack is for everybody especially for them up and small coming streamers yes you need the big streamers that can bring in a view that can bring in the donations don't stop them from coming i want them to come I, I just like to have a mix of people, big and small, big and small, without that requirement. There's already everywhere else that was requiring boohoo's of stuff and missing out on anything or anybody that's special. So this was one of the things that were like special in a sense to me. So that's the only thing that was my concern. We're gonna see how it goes. Like I don't love the change, I really don't, but that's just me. I don't want nobody to not, not sign up. Sign up, because anything's possible. Like I always say, the most you can get is a no, and that's okay. Just keep signing up. Maybe, maybe they'll be like, there's an exception to the rule. Maybe, I don't know. But other than that, I enjoy Dream Hack. Thank you, a thousand dreams fun for allowing me to represent y'all on the big stage and awesomely seeing my thousand dream fun peoples. That's like the main reason why I go Dream Hack, and they make me feel calm and like I, I really don't have to worry about even though i'm like i'm used to going to stuff to solo like i'm used to but definitely save up y'all like times are hard save up and plan accordingly at least if you are able to go to one of the dream hacks because it's close in your plan accordingly and save up and also the dream hack thing you can pay uh for your badge uh what is it you can there's a payment plan that you pay for your badge so use that if you can't just drop that amount of money at once use that 
and also view creator sign up but as you see i want and i'm out and i hope y'all enjoyed this laters And I had a nephew in my thingy, y'all. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go!